82nd Avenue Parade Day! <laughs> hey big guy, how are you? It's 9.30 and time for a parade. Hello, Portland. Friends and neighbors, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 82nd Avenue of Roses Parade. This is the 18th annual, folks. Look out for potholes. This year's Grand Marshals, Marilyn Clint, CEO of the Rose Festival, and Rich Jarvis, former Rose Festival Public Relations Manager. The Rose Festival Clown Prince is on the traveling throne and is being escorted by many walking and riding clowns today. Please welcome the group from the Ascension Catholic Church. This vibrant and diverse church is located at Southeast 76th and Yamyo. The church brings together people from many different cultures, has weekend services in English and Spanish, a food pantry, family shelter, and other outreach programs. It's the Royal Rosarians marching unit. Leading the Royal Rosarians today is our, their current Secretary of State and future Minister, Ron Fisher and First Lady Kelly. The Portland Road Society is 135 years old, the oldest and largest road society of the United States. And riding today is the President, Kathy Schoch. This is our marching Mobile Rose Garden. Pictures of beautiful roses. The Amalgamated Transit Union is the largest labor union representing transit workers in North America with over 20,000 members in the U.S. and Canada. Marching with them, President Shirley Block, who's the first woman and first African American to be elected president since it began. band is a New Orleans style band that brings the party everywhere they go.
followed by Misty Crew. There we are. Founded in 2010 by Louisiana expatriates, the Misty Crew of Nimbus is a party collective of culture lovers who create Mardi Gras in Portland. Kenbridge Partners, a local financial planning firm, is proud to present the Black Pearl Friesen Dance Troupe. Thank you to Miss Oregon USA Manju Bangalore and Miss Oregon Team USA Isabella Ellsworth for your service. And here's St. Anthony Catholic Church celebrating a hundred and wait, no, hundred and eight, hundred and six years. And give a wave to City Commissioner Mingus Maps. It's the Portland Winterhawks Booster Club. Go Winterhawks, and good luck in the playoffs. South Neighborhood Association. Their boundaries include the Grotto and Rocky Butte. Hi there. Coming to us from Martin Luther King Jr. School in Northeast Portland, is the award-winning SCI King Sun School Drill Team.
your home dream team, Chelsea McManus with More Realty and Aiden Keller with Guild Mortgage. Here come members of all the East Portland Rotary Clubs. One of their missions is to provide uh, various means by which women can escape trafficking. And the Rip City Scooter Collective, a local, sco local scooter club fostering community among riders, volunteering their time in nonprofit organizations. Join them on a scooter ride. And before you can't hear me, coming up, the last regiment of syncopated drummers. Next, the Portland Skyliners Tall Club. Pleased to introduce Miss Tall Portland for 2024-25, Joy Red in her inaugural presentation to the public. And say hello to Commissioner Rene Gonzalez. Well, these military vehicles are privately owned by members of the Military Vehicle Collectors Club of Oregon. They're a nonprofit organization dedicated to the preservation of vintage military vehicles and related items. The Portland Community College Gateway and yes to college alternative high school programs are in this parade. Do you go to college to get more knowledge? I, I'm just checking. Kim's Taekwondo has been serving the Montevilla East Portland area since 1992. Squares of Warmth is a community-based group making blankets for those affected by hostlessness. They've made almost 600 blankets so far. Hey, 
I see Cha-Cha the Clown bringing a little happiness. <laughs> How are you? Keep on smiling. Hey, there is, wait, is that Self Enhancement Incorporated, SEI, Kairos, the PDX Sun School team? Yes, welcome. Multnomah County Commissioner Julia Brim Edwards. Oh wait, is that Tweetron? Yes it is. Okay, you're together. You tricked me. Portland Ghostbusters was founded in 2012 with five members. Now they have 40. They are a 501c3 nonprofit. The Portland Lees Association Dragon and Lion Dance team was founded in 2004, celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. They performed at hundreds of events. Middle School Marching Band, joining us from Portland Public Schools and Southeast Portland. Let's hear some music. of the countries they served in. The Portland Peace Corps Association is a group of retired Peace Corps volunteers dedicated to the mission of cross-cultural understanding and service.
Free Arts Northwest is a nonprofit that supports children making art in their communities. The mobile studio delivers volunteers and supplies to after school programs, camps, and community events in East Portland and beyond. For over 100 years, United Way of the Columbia Willamette has been working to meet the needs of vulnerable families in our region. Bishop Rose Franks from the House of Prayer for All Nations, located at 731 North Mount Mason Street. Well, say hello to the staff and volunteers from the Holgate Library. Remember them over here on Southeast 79th and Holgate? They're looking forward to serving the community once again in a brand new building that's almost ready. That is one big library card. Come visit us at Holgate. We open up this summer in just a few months. The Chinelo's dance is better known as the Brinco del Chinelo. The dance is jumped at carnivals in the state of Morelos, Mexico. So see, someone representing the Oregon Electric Vehicle Association. The Impala Clark Club has been active in the Portland community and is a family-oriented club. Representing here today is Juan Lopez and Ryan Schmidt in his 1963 Impala. I'm not actually sure how that's possible.
Please welcome your 911 ambulance provider and medics from AMR. But that looks like it's wrapping up the 82nd Avenue of Roses Parade for this year. We sure thank you for coming out. We're glad it didn't it rain didn't on our rain. parade, at least at this end of it. We're wishing luck to the far end of the parade as it goes up to Yam Hill. Thank the officers here for make, keeping the streets safe for us. And I sure appreciate my partner as always, Mr. Eric Norberg. And you, Mr. Patrick Provost.